Let's do it. Cold open. It's a new year, man. Welcome back. We hope you are on your New Year's resolutions like I am, baby. It's only the 10th day. Mm -hmm. I still believe in myself. Worked out this morning. Yeah, I got on that old exercise bike and got my healthy, conscious stuff going. And listen, we know by Martin Luther King Day, I'm going to be slipping. All right? I'm going to be like, dang, man, do I even want to do this? And that's why Noom is sponsoring this episode. You got to get your healthy eating habits under control. Noom weight helped me rec recognize what I need to change. For example, having food FOMO. You know, when we go out to dinner sometimes, if I'm trying to eat healthy and everybody at the table ain't on that same thing, it's tough. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying to eat a salad or quinoa or couscous and maybe Josh has a steak or maybe Angel has some broiled chicken and mashed potatoes or some pumpkin pie. And I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I don't want no couscous now. I want, let me get a little piece of that pumpkin pie. Let me get a little piece of that steak, Josh. And Noom understands that. And that's why Noom Weight uses psychology. That's why they say losing weight starts with your brain. This program helps you understand the science behind your eating choices and your cravings. Guess how many people have been helped by Noom? How many, kid? 4.6 million people have lost weight. And you can join them, us. We can all do it together. Because I'm trying again, guys. Listen, stay focused <laughs> on what's important to you with Noom Weight's psychology-based approach. Sign up for your trial today at Noom.com slash SK. That's N O O M dot com slash S K to sign up for your trial today and check out Noom's first ever book, The Noom Mindset, a deep dive into the psychology of behavior change available to buy now wherever books are sold. And with that, five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin Stan. She. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Bangers, bangers, bangers. All 2022. Bangers, bangers, bangers. 2023. You did that on purpose. I did it for all real. <laughs> you a lie. Listen, Kevin. 2023 for you. And me. Boom. This Boom. episode is sponsored by, as you already heard, Noom, as well as Talkspace, HelloFresh, Chime Financial, Drafts, King, DraftKings. And we'll tell you more about them later on the podcast. Welcome back. It's my good friend, Angel Lakita Moore Tankley, the yeah. actress, Boom. Joshua Robert Gonzalez. Yes. I have missed them. Angel was gone. She went on a family trip. And the only thing I don't like about her trips she never posts while she's there for safety reasons i understand and also makes the vlog a little more popping but i want to live vicariously through I my know. friends my friend sydney he went to uh korea for the break oh. i was all up in the stories oh. like, no no no, 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 no. Kim. i was like sydney castillo did not go to korea I yeah like, <laughs> right i didn't see no uh vegas stuff no nah. but that, I, was, I was i was in the room most of the day you're still traveling yeah but you can't where i was at you can't do the stories no and Ryan, uh, Ryan from 85 South Podcast Producer, he went to India for two weeks. Ooh, he was beautiful. eating all the food and stuff. And I was like, dang, I want to go to India to eat the food. But Angel, she be like, we gone. I'm going to post some we stuff back. today. I want to see it while you're there. Okay, I'll start sending it directly to Send you. It to, that's all you got to do. close do. friends. That's what I could do. I could do close do friends. Do close friends. I don't even have nobody in my close friends. Put me in there. I'll Put Joshy. Or text about, us. I got about eight or ten people in my close friends. I need to do it. I don't have no yeah, close friends. I have, don't have no close friends. I just, you, my close friends are textable. Yeah. Um, mm. I just so just just do that okay, that's for me, right. Kevin, because I'd be like, oh, I want to look at that water It's blue. It is. It'd be blue. All right. Real quick church announcement. Uh, back on the road this week in Huntsville. I want to say one of the shows is already sold out. Um, I believe the Saturday earliest sold out. Let me just double check. Uh, four shows, one on Friday, two on Saturday, one on Sunday. Uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, two of the five shows are already sold out. And Nashville, I believe one show is sold out. So we're getting to the cities where the people really rock with Kev on stage. So you don't have the same luxury of waiting like you did in Hartsford mm. or Pittsburgh. Because Richmond, Virginia, rock with me. Nashville, Virginia Beach, Tampa, San Diego, Columbia, Detroit. These are the next cities. And they come out for your boy. So I suggest you buy your tickets. And hopefully before my birthday, you'll get the big announcement about the big cities. Trust me, I'm working on behind the scenes. All the big cities, Atlanta, Chicago. It's going to be good. Just London, bro. London. Hold tight. Hold one. It'll be worth Angel, it. you got hold anything? Hold one. one go yes. Uh, Ask on Angel is back. We're shooting our, actually shooting our first day today, but we're going to be shooting other days. So if you want to be able to ask on Angel some questions, and you can remain completely anonymous. 
go on ahead, go to my Instagram at that chick angel. And if you click on the link in my bio, there will be a link for you to be able to um, fill out the Google sheet to be able to apply to be on Ask God Angel. You can be on the Kev on Stage Studio streaming services app. You can. In 2023. So you go can. ahead and do Anonymous it. Anonymous or not. Anonymous or not. Or not. And I also, one. yes, I did cancel some shows in Cleveland and Cincinnati and uh, um, some other cities. And here's the honest, straight truth. Josh singled me out. You're singled out. I, I was doing too many shows. My family was like, Kev, you, you, you're doing too much. Mm. What's the, and I'm, you know, you're working a lot and you're not living life. And mm. honestly, grieving and people passing makes you rethink stuff. This tour was planned before my brother passed away. And after that happened, I was like, family is important too. I mean, I knew that, but yeah. I didn't need to go on all the shows. Yeah. I'm, I don't want to miss my kids last. My, I said, this is last full calendar year of high school. This is it. Oh, yeah. Next summer, he's gone. Yeah. Okay. They both started caring about their clothes. So yes, I'll be coming back to Cleveland. Like that's a city that I'll Cincinnati. Uh, I'll come back. The cities that I didn't make it to this year, Phoenix got canceled. Um, I'll always come back to those cities, mm. but I will be more strategic about how much I'm on the road because that kind of shifted my mindset about being gone. Good. You know, I want to be more than anything in this world, more than money, more than trips. I want my family intact. Mm -hmm. So if it ever comes to the point where I feel like I'm stretching too far and not having enough family time. I'll pull back and I'll leave that money on the table. Well, I'll get the money somewhere else, but I'll get it from home. Yeah. Uh, but I won't leave. So that's that. You can't make me feel guilty for that. I know you're sad and I know you miss me, but I'll be back. All right. Hold on. I got one. I got one. Oh, church My announcements. announcements. Church announcements. My calendars are on sale early for the stage crew. They've been up for a minute or not a minute, probably about a week or so. I had some early technical difficulties, but my calendars are on sale. It's featuring 13 photos. Primarily iPhone photos. I added the location to them. The prototypes Good. came out. We all saw, well, not all of them, but we saw most of them. Um, yes, they're on my Shopify page. Maybe I'll link it. But they're on sale for you guys exclusively until probably the end of this week, and then everybody else is going to get them. The photos are gorgeous. Thank you, Angel. You're very welcome. Uh, okay. Well, a lot happened while we were gone. What'd you say? It? And instead of like keeping up with this week, we're going to go back and miss the big things that we would have covered on the three-week break. Let's go back, Kevin. <laughs> Let's time. go back. The first big thing happened, I believe, the first week of our break, Come or maybe on. the second week. Talk about it. <laughs> Tory Lanez was found guilty. guilty. You don't have to say alleged. Amen. No more. You don't have to say alleged. You can oh. say this is now a fact. Tory Lanez was found guilty. He was found guilty um, is a fact. I believe on all charges, wasn't he? All three. Mm -hmm. All three charges. Uh -huh. Right? And uh, I'm glad he tweeted, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but the weapon itself that was registered yeah. to him did. So yes, it the did. The weapon himself he is was the weapon. registered. And believe it or not, uh, people were still defending him. Of course, because people behave right? like women. I'm going to say what the three charges were just okay, in case cool, people don't cool, know. Cool, cool. Assault with a firearm causing great bodily injury. Mm -hmm. Possession. Uh, pos possession, I should say, of a concealed, loaded, and unregistered firearm in a vehicle and discharging a firearm with gross <clears throat> negligence. So regardless, he was going to go down for two of those. Regardless. Yeah. It's that first one that people still don't really believe or also people just don't be knowing nothing was the uh, one if he, whether or not he actually shot her. But those other two was going to happen. Regardless. Yeah. Continue, Kevin. So sorry. So, <laughs> and after he was convicted, uh, apparently in the legal system, after you're convicted, they, I mean, after the case is over, people, stuff that was used in the case starts being released, mm -hmm. right? So this case, I kind of followed along. There was a Twitter, I think her name was Megan, a reporter on Twitter, Twitter, uh -huh. and she was basically tweeting everything, and that's how I was uh, following along. I was about to say, is that an app for black people, Twitter? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to say it out loud because I didn't want to get caught up in the mix. Be careful, John. Be careful. Uh, so I'm trying to find the audio real quick. Uh, is it in this? Uh, it's in the article, but um, okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can help you. Let me make sure I. Um, oh god. Picture, picture. Let's see if this is it. Yeah, that audio was gonna kill him. Oh, here it is. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. Press one to accept the call. To deny this call. Thank you for using Telmate. Hello. Hello. Yeah, 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 
find that out safe than anything. Huh? Now you're worried about safety. Anything that I could? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My you said what? You're listening to Street TV. I said Megan was in the hospital, so I'm, um, I'm outside the hospital waiting. What hospital are you at? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let me see. Cedar, something like that, Cedar. She know where they at. No problem. Yeah. I know she probably never, ever going to talk to me ever again, but... I just want you to know, bro. Nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. That ass. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on, bro. Like that ass, nigga. I never do some shit like that, bro. Just that, that nigga, I was just so fucking drunk, nigga. I just didn't even understand what the fuck was going on, bro. Like, so I, whatever. Yeah. But you know, regardless, that's not gonna make anything right, and that's not gonna make my actions right, bro. But, you can find the whole thing on YouTube if you want, but that's all. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I that's all. I, I didn't need nothing before. Yeah, but it's like, what else? Sir, what are you apologizing for? Who apologizes? Now you got they got in court from what Megan the reporter was saying. Kelsey did it. We don't know who did it and all that. That is a guilty person's apology. Absolutely. That is the voice of somebody who done sobered up Mm -hmm. and realized they done tricked it off. Yeah. You know, because L.A. already has strict gun laws, right? Unregistered firearm in L.A. One. He ain't even from America. Come on. Canadian citizen. (coughs) But then what, what was the third charge you said? The, all three charges, one more again, are <clears throat> assault with a firearm causing great bodily injury. That is the bullet going through Megan's foot. Uh, possession of concealed, loaded, and unregistered firearms. So him actually having and then discharging it. So the fact that he oh, shot having it. having it is uh, one, shooting it is another. Yeah. And then causing negligence. bodily harm is a third. Yeah, so you could still, he could still get... Um, be sentenced for or you know get in trouble for shooting it and then not hitting anyone but shooting it where there are people got it got it so they got him on the three yeah so now he's facing up to 22 years now listen here's the thing that's wild and i didn't see some of this he released a music video where he was talking about he was not guilty in the courtroom prior to being on trial he was in the courtroom the talking trash knowing good it Gaslighting, this is a hard word for me to, un- uh, was a hard word for me to understand, but that's gaslighting. Mm-hmm. Like, if I shot you, and we both know I shot you, then I go on court, I call you crazy, call you a liar, go in a courtroom, make a video, and be like, I'm not guilty, I never did none of that. And she might be like, girl, am I, am I tripping? What I call that is lying. Yeah! Being a liar. Well, the, li- <laughs> the gaslighting part is trying, okay, so I, I want to share this, maybe this is the only reason I brought this up. I've been trying to understand that gaslighting word uh-huh. for a long time. Somebody on TikTok then hit me to the best explanation for me, Kevin. Okay, come, come on. Truman Show. The movie, The Truman Show. Mm-hmm. You seen it? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You seen yeah. it, Joshie? No. Okay. Oh, really? He born okay, 1993. I'm, not in full. I'm sorry. It's okay. I, 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 know, the, I know the concept don't of it. Don't apologize for not I know watching the concept the movie. of it. Okay. Yeah, so, don't apologize. Truman Show, if you haven't watched it, it's about Jim Carrey is uh, Truman. Mm-hmm. Uh, he lives in a whole world that's created for him. He's in a reality show, and he's the only real human. Everybody else around him is actors. And they are constantly convincing him that this is the real world. Mm-hmm. And when he figures it out, his wife, his best friend, they're all like, you crazy, you tripping, what is you? No, this is all normal. And that's basically gaslighting. It's lying to the point that you're trying to make somebody believe their reality is not real. Yeah. And that's, that's why I'm saying that's what he did by knowing he shot her, and then going on Twitter, going on songs, you lying, saying somebody shot you. I'm in a courtroom like, nigga. It's not, it's not only that. It's not just the I didn't do it. It's the then be trying to become the victim. And, That's the part that And now really you're attacking black it. people. You're yes. attacking black men. Right. And That's then the allowing his part. fans to dox her. Dog! Mm. In, in not saying anything and letting them all... Like, the, the division that was caused between... 
stupid people and really just folk. stupid people. This also <laughs> showed a lot of people's cards of how many people are abusive towards women and oh. how many people protect them. Mm -hmm. A mm -hmm. lot of them dudes are still rapping with Tory, all that, like not yeah. hiding. And I'm, I'm now, of course, now that it's, he's guilty, well, you can't make no music, not in person, mm -mm. but now it's going to be easy to be like that. But like, now we remember when mm -hmm. didn't Drake have a line about, Mm -hmm. A little clever mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Uh, you got shot. Line about getting shots, but she's still a stallion. Yeah. But I was talking about BBLs, Drake. Come on now. No, let's come on. Let's don't stop. stop don't play to be with cute. us. No, don't throw the rock and hide your hand. That stuff be pissing me off. <laughs> that pisses me off. If you gonna be wrong, you know me, I be wrong all the time, but I'm gonna stay ten toes down in that wrongness. Or I eight toes down if you're Deion Sanders. Come on, because them toes, oh my God, today. What a weird what happened? That was a weird thing. Ain't enough and money Shannon in the Sharp world. Shannon Sharp was he wear a size eleven, but he should be wearing an eight. Oh, yes. Shannon Sharp was, was a regular black dude, flaming the hell out of him. <laughs> you can't get no sandal, my man, bro. My man, my man. But he can't. That boy stood eight toes down. Did he? My, my man, my man, my man. <laughs> I watched that video so many because if I if I have eight toes. I want all the smoke. No, I want, want people to be like, head, shoulders, knees, and eight toes. Knees and eight toes. <laughs> I want every toe joke that you can think of. Dion uh, knew he, he didn't know what he signed up for because uh, he was like, come on, man. I never really showed these before right? like this. It was terrible. I wanted to take a chicken nugget and like a Cheeto and glue it in the place of where his big toe it just it <laughs> just wanted it to looked, glue it, it down. Like, it looked like it was it, the rounded <laughs> edge. Mm -hmm. There was a so much me, foot meat. I, I didn't was, realize how much of your foot meat the toe me, takes. I was like, how yes. does he turn right? Does he like, what does he rotate on his heel? You I don't, can't pivot. You, your balance, you need that big and that pinky the for rim. balance. Oh, the reason absolutely. why they're there. That big and that pinky keep you straight up. Yeah. Oh, he my God. That bit, his big toe had to be big, too, because it was, it was, oh, it was yeah. like, Hey, hey. I'm at work now. Is that, just, is that your wife? Pick no, up. No, it's not my wife. You know it was this I'm picking up. Yeah. I'm like, pick it up. Yeah, I'm not working. Um, Yeah, no, that was when they showed that for real, for real, I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny because they were moving. It was like, I know. I know. The shoe was on the other foot. He had so many he kept foot going. and toe references. I was like, Shannon, keep going. Yeah, he was like, I'm not coming. I'm not letting up off of you. But anyway, uh Meg Tory. Tory, listen, I know, and the, the crazy thing is <laughs> for some people, and it's not people like not on my time, not people I follow, uh -huh. but a lot of people still were vote. And this is <laughs> the other thing. Them blogs, them hip hop blogs. It came. It look, it looks like we're gonna go alleged on this. It looks like Tory Lane's team was paying bloggers, or they were doing it on their own volition, to make it seem like the stuff in the cake, the court case, wasn't happening the way it actually was. Mm -hmm. Because they apparently they played that tape uh -huh. yeah. in in the trial, and yeah. Tory's team's response from Megan the reporter was like. Oh, he was apologizing for the overall situation of at course, hand. They're gonna lie to get their their. Um client off but what was what was really crazy is that like after he was convicted and i'm fully aware of this people are like well y'all know the justice system always put innocent black men in jail so this is just he was convicted guilty that don't mean he did it y'all who then who shot her let's let's be real yes her friend kelsey is Trash, man! Are you talking about trash, trash? She's and she took list. that big hush money, and then they played her thing, and she was like, "What? I said she's that like, on recorded live? I, I, you know, I don't really remember anything. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I don't want to incriminate that play myself." Play button. It's like, don't worry, because we, you don't have to remember. We're gonna play it. And then she was like, "I hope me? she gets prosecuted for wasting the county and the state's <laughs> time and money because she was the prosecutor's witness." And, re and really just threw them a curveball with that bull crap. I don't really want to be here. I don't remember. I don't remember. Girl, you remember when somebody was shot. Oh, now, God dang it. Talk about I don't want to be here. Man, this ain't third grade. This ain't 11th grade geography. You, you can't just call in sick. You taking your butt behind that stand. <laughs> I felt bad for man because it was like everybody that was with her that night in, in that car turning their back on her. People blamed her for getting shot. Where was the goddamn driver? Where was he? Listen, I know some drivers who would be like, what? <laughs> yes, I didn't man. even turn around. I, I don't want where. nothing to do with nothing. Because I know the driver, he got no... 
He got no bias mm -hmm. unless he paid by Tory. But at that point, Tory, you know, this is a legend, had gave uh, Meg some money. You think he wouldn't have tried to pay that driver? Of course. To, but to, I'm surprised he still wasn't subpoenaed. Me too. Like, I was like, what? He probably where? was like, man, oh, no, I'm just trying to feed my kids. Right? I don't want to be here. I did not bring them a gun. And it was so, it's also really crazy how, how uh, I really got to see where um, logical thinking and reasoning is not something that a lot of people have. No. Let like alone as, take to a courtroom. Uh -huh. What'd you let, say? Let alone take to a courtroom. Right. Let alone taking into logistics. And I, I mean, I'll admit I got my degree in theater, so I am not a law expert. However, mm -hmm. some of the things that people were making up based off of what was coming out of the courtroom, I was like, now, Where? how you getting now? You how you get to that conclusion? Right. With the, with the information we have, how you come to that conclusion? They were like, they said that Tory's DNA was not on gun. That's not what they said. <laughs> that's not what that, in conclusive, that's not what that, that means. That does not, that's not what that means. That's not what that means. It does not mean that it was not on there. It just means they can't pinpoint the DNA that's on there to him. I just, I was just like, people, I really made me sad for people in general yeah. watching this it, it made me i was like we all need to go back to school yes we all need therapists and you can get the therapist a good one at talkspace yeah you can putting yourself first in the new year doesn't have to be a challenge thanks to talkspace using talkspace feels like um having a mental health professional in your pocket yeah talkspace offers therapy and psych uh, psychiatry and being able to reach out to you, uh, any provider, anytime, anywhere, makes taking care of my mental health super easy. Whether I'm working or managing everyday tasks, taking care of my own mental health has never been easier. Working through things in therapy can be tough, but connecting to my therapist isn't. Plus, you can get help with or without insurance. Most insured customers only pay a $25 copay or less. Okay, y'all. Yep. We love some therapy here. Listen, I went last mm -hmm. night. Okay. Got up a talk space right in my garage. Right in. Hey, boys, leave me alone. Finna go in here and cry. Come on. And I'll be better when I get out. <laughs> I'll be better. Monty Hush now. I'm going in the talk space in my garage. And just what we got to do. All three of us in here are huge proponents of therapy mm -hmm. and talk space makes it so easy to be able to have therapy, being able to do online therapy or therapy. Oh, listen, just know that you need to take care of your mental health. Yeah, 2023, you if you haven't started yet, it is time for you to start. I wholeheartedly recommend the Talkspace for therapy. You can sign up online and get personalized uh, matched with a provider that's right for you. Typically within 48 hours, you can text video or send phone voice messages to your licensed therapist. So it's incredibly convenient to have a virtual session from the comfort of your home. Talkspace is secure, private, and using the latest end-to-end -end bank grade encryption technology to store client information complying with the latest HIPAA regulations. Ensure it's accepted. Big HIPAA. Hip -hop. Big hit. Talkspace is an in network with most major insurers. Insured members on average pay a $20 copay or less. As listeners of this podcast, you get $100 off for your first month of Talkspace when you use uh, when you go to Talkspace.com and use code CREW with a K. CREW with a K! To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com and use code CREW with a K. CREW with a K. To get $100 off your first month and show your support of the show. That's crew with a K. Crew with a K. And talkspace.com. Listen, let me tell you what. One unintended result of therapy is you gonna sleep good. Oh. Because that, that them cry. cry sleep, that's like you uh had a whooping sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One good benefit of getting whooped. Oh man. The nap was heavenly. No, oh, yeah. You were like, Divine. let me get away from here. Let me go <laughs> away. A good whooping before <laughs> bed. Sometimes I try and schedule whooping before bed. Yeah, just hit me at 8 man. 19. That's what I was going to do to bed Marcus. <laughs> beat him so he go to sleep. <laughs> Cause yeah, you remember when you wake up and your face would be gray. No, oh, man. If you come in, dried, salty tears. You come in the room. Hello, is, the, <laughs> is there food available still? I am, I am young and weary. I remember getting beat at one. Come in at eight o'clock. Yes. Is, is there food left? <laughs> you sleep the whole day away. You sleep a whole work shift. That is exactly what a whooping will do. We'll put you on the clock. All right, I'm gonna clock in to this sleep. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh my gosh! That was the other thing about Tory Lanez that was crazy. His dad mm. came out in the courtroom 
came outside of the courtroom after that and blamed that on Rock Nation. His, they no, had no, that no, no, li- no. Not Rock Nation, sister? Rock Nations. Rock Nations. Come on, all of them. They had that man's poor little baby sister, seven years old, defending him. Us and, and, and listen, Black Twitter going after the baby. Not leave the baby the out baby of it. The baby don't know nothing. She literally the baby don't not. know. He had his son on his back in the courtroom. Of course. The jury was like, that's crazy. Guilty. Yeah, Guilty. absolutely. They were like, you ain't going to keep playing with us. And you- then I read up on Tory the Lanes. Boy, he he had a troubled past. His huh? own family was like, we can't raise you. They were sending him all over. He'd been violent all over. All he over. fought August Alcina. Yep. He, there's like two or three other uh, incidents where he was, was attacking short, somebody. That was a short He's fight, a, though. Ah, Josh. <laughs> Listen. He is, he is a this, bit of a this menace. This Tory Lanez, he bought this bit. <laughs> he a widow, widow man. But listen, here's the thing. You talk big, you act up, but then when it's time to be court, now you're a father. Didn't know that baby had no son. Of Mm-mm. course not. Now you got a son. Now you got a... His dad was out here with the painted on hairline. Of Can't course. trust no man who don't trust himself. Listen, <laughs> my beard is not full. Marcus, Greg, immaculate beards. I got spots that be like, I ain't finna be no beard. Like, leave me be. But I ain't gonna ever just paint it in where it's gonna be all black to where it's like you, the, the doggone hair is not even <laughs> real. People be getting the paint, hair look like fresh asphalt. Now you know black people's <laughs> hair don't be that. Most black people's I hair is it. dark brown at the most. I love it. His dad I was like, it. make it where nothing is. I want that Sharpie. No! I want, if you want, listen, listen, we can't just have the women out here looking crazy with you about to drink it through the... <laughs> But see, with women, it's different. No, we be out here looking crazy with baby hair that is eight inches long over here doing calligraphy on your goddamn forehead. No, <laughs> let these men be out here looking all crazy, too. We not going to be the only ones. with. We could catch whole fish with the lace. <laughs> we could go out there and catch lobsters for red lobster. <laughs> with how much lace is in these wigs, yes, men come I out do here believe and that in. there is a double standard where it comes to... I don't mind units, mm-hmm. but the, the the spray on, like, we finna just spray it on. Oh, no, I want y'all to do, I, listen, I have watched us when we be trying everything. Yeah. And so I'm like, yes, men, come join us. Join us. Get that tar and slap it <laughs> on your head and, and have us have to look you in the face like we don't see it. I want that. I want to have to lace front lifting off. Of, we could put a whole wallet under some of these women's oh, wow. wigs. A whole, and I'm not talking about a men's wallet. I'm talking about a trifold with the big Gucci emblem on the top. Oh man, underneath the lace. Those I also, also hurt you your catch. back if you sit on them wrong for too long. You could. <laughs> Y'all could take the wigs off and catch fish. Just the frontal. Come on. <laughs> That's Captain how Jesus D. taught people how to make fishers of men. That's exactly. He, he had he took off. Not. He snatched yes, he Mary did. Magdalene's lace front off. <laughs> it was like I'm about you to mean to tell the... me they weren't they weren't uh, doing laces? <laughs> yeah, with, they were with the woven baskets. <laughs> That's how Mary Magdalene. She had the baby hair slicked down. And he was like, "Who is you?" She was like, "You know what it is." Let but me, uh, no, that that was funny. You know what it is. But enough know. of that. <laughs> Tory Lanes, you going uh, you gonna pay? Bye bye bye. You gonna pay? For your crimes. Yes. Uh, you know. I just really feel bad for, I feel bad for Megan. Her mama gone. Mm-hmm. Her, her grandmama gone. I think her daddy gone too. And if I'm like, well, to hear to hear back that, well, one, first of all, they painted out her whole sex life as if that had anything to do. <sighs> I don't care if she had a thing in her mouth, in her butt, and in her stuff what? when it happened. It, it still should not happen. And people like, see, see, she out here sleeping with a friend. What type of chick is that? A chick that don't deserve to get shot in the foot? Them things is unrelated. I, it was so amazing how people still got caught up in it. I unrelated. Like, that has nothing to do. We didn't say she ain't on trial for being <laughs> promiscuous, for having sex. Um, none of that is a criminal offense. Mm-hmm. You know what the crimes are? unregistered guns <laughs> right. shooting them and causing bodily harm Boom. that's the crime right she could have been a sex worker in the act of sex <laughs> right still don't mean she deserved to get shot at or shot and the yeah. crazy thing is that Me- megan the stallion couldn't win because at first she was trying to protect Tory lane so she had glass in her foot 
uh, that's kind of how black women do. Like, mm-hmm. be under these circumstances, I'd be like, girl, mm-hmm. I, w- I just wish, I know if she had it back again, she would have been like, he shot me from jump. Uh-huh. But I get it, mm-hmm. right? Black people, we don't trust the police. We try to protect. I actually get, get it. And then that was turned against her. I mean, they, they, they she doesn't lie. Like, what, what benefit? I, and this is the thing I always say. What benefit does she have? That's what we said on the podcast. Of There's lying no about that. They were like, what well, is she, she lying about sleeping with Tori? I would lie too. <laughs> there are niggas that I would, would not want for folk to know were under my belt. No, I didn't sleep with Gail. No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Listen, that <clears throat> might have been why she lied. I people could never <laughs> that man small and ugly. Right. I didn't do it. Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. Could have a whole baby by that. Mm-mm. But he looks just like him. They're the same height. Nope. No. Angel gonna be like, I want a DNA test. He, the baby came out of you. Test that baby. I don't know whose mom that baby it's is. Not mine. Angel, you were pregnant with nine months. Test that ugly baby. <laughs> That is not mine, I said. I don't know who the mother is. Angel, you had your placenta just came out. (laughs) Mm -mm. Chest, that ain't mine. It ain't mine. That baby's was switched at birth. It's connected (laughs) to you right now. Somebody put this baby in me, but it's not my baby. I don't know who the mama is. But yeah, I feel bad for her. I'm (sighs) praying for her mental, her mentals, because I know that had to be a, uh, that had to be a very hard thing to do by yourself when everybody seems to be turning especially yeah just turning their back on you no i get it i get it uh moving on Mm -hmm. there was a trend on tiktok uh during the break this is right around new year the trend was and i didn't i didn't engage with this one right but the trend was you would tell Mm -hmm. your parents a celebrity died Mm -hmm. if your parents were white you say meryl streep died oh you know black i and i had to teach my tiktok i don't like that every time i saw it i was i was quick swiping so i didn't really get any of these uh-huh. So, my uh, Angela Bassett's uh, son, mm-hmm. he didn't know that some trends is for white people anyway, mm-hmm. and some people's for black people anyway. Mm-hmm. So he did that trend on his mom, mm-hmm. his mom Angela Bassett. His, his dad is Courtney Vance. Courtney B Vance. Courtney B. That's big Courtney. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's who uh, Whitney Houston. We want her to cheat on uh, Denzel. him with Denzel, Denzel. Uh-huh. Dudley. Want to get her that angelic peen, mm-hmm. which was crazy. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, wanted, Courtney B. Wow. I did want that, and I'm sorry, Courtney B. It was the movie set me up. I feel like the movie wanted angelic sex. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I don't know why. So he did it, right? Mm-hmm. And let me tell you what happened, right? With it, sh- do you should I play? Should I find the video of his apology? Well, p- Josh, find the video and play it. Okay. And then I'm gonna play his apology because. At this moment, you remember Angela Bassett, Black Mama, first. Oh. Did you wait, Mom, Dad? Did you did you hear this? Michael B. Jordan dead at thirty-five. Uh oh, 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 thirty-five. Uh oh, what, 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 what? That boy got on this video. Like to apologize for the Michael B. for taking part in such a harmful trend. I apologize to Michael B. Jordan's entire family, his extended family, and him directly, as he is an idol of mine. And taking part in a trend like this is completely disrespectful. I don't wish any bad ramifications of this, of my actions upon his family, nor my parents, as they deserve none of the backlash. And I, I own this was a mistake, and I hope this can be a teaching lesson to anyone else who uses social media as a tool and a source of entertainment to... To, to truly understand that your actions can have consequences that extend beyond you. I apologize for any hurt that, that my actions may have caused my, Mr. Jordan or my parents or any anyone else who could have been involved in this. And I am truly, truly and sincerely sorry. And I apologize. Let me tell you what, that baby apologized to all part. Let me apologize to Michael B. Jordan, yes. Michael Jordan. Mike, yes. Mike, Michael S. B. I'm Mi- sorry. M- Michael Jackson. Sir. Michael Scott. Michael Scott. <laughs> Jordan From Sparks, <laughs> uh, Jordan Clarkson. All of my shoes, uh, Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s. That is the, one of the first sincere apologies I have heard. That baby. Angel was behind that camera because he kept no. going like this. He was. <laughs> I was like, oh. That man was using what? That baby, he looked no much, n- not much older than my son. Mm-hmm. He's all the ramifications, the stipulations. Uh, uh, I apologize to Mike. I don't. I want to be like Mike. <laughs> I apologize to the Utah Jazz because they didn't win no no NBA championships because of Michael Jordan. Michael J. Jordan. Uh, I, I just Michael Jackson. 
Uh, Michael, I'm so sorry. I said, why don't you just leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it I alone. I so oh, bad oh. for everybody. I, I, we talked about this. Me and Marcus talked about this. So is this going to cause an argument? Because I was just like, I realized he's 16. Now, mind you, I. Oh, he's 16? The, yeah, he's oh, 16 okay. years old. But he is I, the same, same, same. Yeah, he's the exact same age as Zay uh, I met these little kids when they were little, little, when they were like a uh, little bit older than Amar. And as much as, as much, I'm just grateful that this, these things weren't around social media when I was 16. Man. Because as dumb as this trend was, and as much as we as adults are like, how in the hell oh, did you think that was okay? I can't imagine the dumb, yes. dumb, dumb thing that I, then me back on social media. I want to apologize <laughs> to everyone. My mother would still be whooping me in, <laughs> in the thing as I was apologizing because Dorothy, she wouldn't know. Dorothy, give even to you in the car? She wouldn't even know that that shouldn't happen. She would be like, I don't care. I'm going to beat you on the social medias because All you want to be. All of them. I'm going to tick the tock out of your ass because you don't want to listen. I tick the tock. You don't want to listen. You think it's funny. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you ain't laughing now. She be one of, you know, these people, they talk about how the parents be shaming the kids on online. Yes. And they're like, oh, yeah, that would have definitely. Yes. That would have just closed my whole account. I've been like, and it's over. <laughs> And it's over. Apparently, I can't. Mm -mm. I just, I, I feel horrible for Angela. I feel horrible for Courtney. But I really feel bad for that baby because it's oh, just man. like to have to learn a lesson in front of the camera publicly. Because you was uh, you now you want to act up in public. Right. You went in and posted me down on that TikTok. And yeah. I'm about to beat the time out of your black behind. <laughs> yeah. You understand me? Yeah. You gonna remember the time? Apologize to Michael <laughs> and Joseph Jackson. And I listen, I and you when you young and you dumb, and that's why I'm Stupid. just grateful that we had no cameras when I was young and dumb. Oh my god. And my mom wasn't Angela Bassett. And my dad wasn't Courtney B. Vance. Oh my that makes it so much that, worse. <laughs> I know she behind that. When that when he turned that video off, that was the last laugh he had. Oh yeah. He's probably still not laughed in twenty twenty three. He has not <laughs> smiled in twenty twenty three. Cause I surely wouldn't have. I've been like, you know what? Let me just, you talk about them naps, that, he still sleep. <laughs> them whooping naps, that baby still asleep right now. Oh, but you know what? What I have loved in 2023 is HelloFresh. Oh, yeah. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered right to your door, making home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. You've got New Year's goals, and HelloFresh is here to help you achieve them. Skip the grocery store and take control of your time. Budget and delicious recipes. HelloFresh's Festive Fair collection features limited time recipes with seasonal produce and premium proteins. Get the, um, excuse me, get out of the post holiday slump with these elevated winter classics. Like classics, looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year? Cut back on expensive takeout, takeout and delivery, and get started with HelloFresh. You'll love how fast, easy, and affordable it is to whip up a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. We just got back from vacation, and I can't tell you how excited I am to know I don't have to go to the grocery store because HelloFresh was delivered the Sunday we got back. What's also great is that I was actually able to pause it while we were gone because I knew we were going to be gone for almost a week, so I was like, we don't need a delivery. We won't be there to cook, so I just went online, paused it, and they were like, we got you. We'll deliver you your next box on your next delivery day I can't get enough of HelloFresh mm -hmm. and my family is so grateful because now they get to eat at a reasonable time and not wait for me to be like oh let me order something HelloFresh is right there Fast and Fresh Recipes HelloFresh latest line of meals in feature robust, robust flavors and filling portions and already in less than 15 minutes enjoy taste and quality done uh, quick with recipes like falafel power bowls, Ooh. seared steak and potatoes with Bernay sauce or Southwest pork bean burritos. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious. With over 35 weekly recipes, they have options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie smart and carb smart recipes or even customize select meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading your proteins and adding 
or adding proteins to a veggie dish. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK21. SK21. And use code SK21. SK21. For 21 free meals plus free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SK21. SK21. And use code SK21 for 21 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Now listen, money can't buy you happiness, but not worrying about your money comes close. There's, that's where Chime can help you smile more. They were just named the number one most loved banking app with payday up to two days early and fee-free overdrafts for up to $200. They offer financial peace of mind in your wallet. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks uh, to apply. Chime is actually, it is a really good banking app. I was, uh, when I first heard about it, I was like, huh, what is this all about? But it does make things so much easier, especially when we're in such a digital world and you just don't want to have to uh, deal with a lot of stuff. You can have all of your banking needs right in one place with Chime. Okay, so see for yourself why Chime is so loved at chime.com slash SK. SK. That's chime.com slash SK. SK. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bank Corp Bank or Stride Bank in a members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. See chime.com slash spot me. Chime was the 2021 n- number one most down downloaded banking app in the U.S. according to Aptopia. All right. This is also something that happened over the break that I thought was pretty interesting. We're going to talk about it here. Ben- mm. Benedict Benedict Cumberbatch's on, family. Mm. He's Benedict. Hey, yo. <laughs> whose ancestors <laughs> owned a sugar plantation in Barbados could face legal pressure to pay reparation, his reparations. His mom reportedly once advised him not to use his last name professionally in case it made him a target for reparations, he did not do that. And now he is a target for reparations. And this black girl on the talk is related to him. And she goes in depth about the whole thing. Well, this wasn't on my reparations bingo. This was on my reparations bingo card. I have waited 10 years, almost damn near, for this moment right here. Let me explain. This is me and my paternal grandmother, Enid, and her maiden name was Cumberbatch. This is my family tree that I've done on familysearch.org, which I could go in depth on another video with this same family tree website, but this is the first time I've ever made connections to my past ancestors. As you can see, her mother, also a Cumberbatch. And if you go even further, her father was a Cumberbatch, and then his father was a Cumberbatch. My fourth or third great-grandfather was a Cumberbatch. That is the oldest Cumberbatch I could find on this website. He was born 1800. He was born 34 years before the slavery was abolished in the UK's colonies, which was 1834. My great, 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 great grandfather was born into slavery in Barbados. He was also born on, in St. Andrew, which is where the European Cumberbatch's plantation was. And yeah, and I knew the very first time I saw Benedict Cumberbatch and I saw his name, I made that connection since then because I've never seen a white Cumberbatch until then. Every other Cumberbatch I knew was from my family or other Bajans in Barbados. So what did I do? I Googled and I found this. This article was written in 2014. So when I say I've been waiting 10 years for this moment, I've been waiting 10 years for this moment. Pause to read if you can, but if you see, you can see that there was a New York commissioner, and I remember this, her name is Wanda Cumberbatch, her family is also from Barbados, and people started putting two and two together, and that's how we found out that he was directly related to the Cumberbatches of Barbados. 
And let's not forget, the cover matches of Barbados were paid the equivalent of $3.6 million in 1834 mm. for their losses. In eight, for slaves? At the time of abolishment, the Cumberbatches had over 250 slaves on their plantation. Mm. Wow. So you was Dr. Strange, huh? That's strange mm-hmm. how you got my money. Mm-hmm. You got that $3.6 million? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Cumberbatch is a unique name. Very. If he would have been, hey, my name is Benedict Johnson. <laughs> yeah. Benedict Juajite Mel. Maybe it ain't so easy. But oh, you yeah. know, I ain't never heard of no Cumberbatch before Benedict. Oh, yeah. You know all these people are about to be changing their last, last names. You, they, not anybody with a, a weird or this weird sound that they're going to be like Smith. I am now the Smithest. Uh, Heath Ledger, is he dead? He's a dead one. Heath Ledger went on to be with him. Yeah, but if he was still alive, he'd be a Smith. Because you know Smith. that Ledger... You, what is a ledger used for? Come on. Somebody's accountant. Somebody. Yeah, oh, man, listen. Now, look. Benedict uh, Cumberbatch went and been in uh, 12 years of slaves. Now, you know you wildin'. Mm-hmm. You know you wildin'. Mm-hmm. If your family owns slaves. He said doing that felt like he was, uh, what was it, uh, paying the, uh, not paying, like, a a, apology. Yeah, atoning for it. No, you got paid to be Nigga, a slave you owner. Did- <laughs> Dollars. They gave you money to be in a movie about slaves and your family owns slaves? Yeah, no. You might want to. I got to pass on that one for personal reasons. Yeah, you were just uh, dressing up like your great great granddaddy. That's all that was. You wait. Let me do some character study. Where's Pop Pop? <laughs> right. <laughs> Where's Pop Pop's diary? Let me read that diary so I can feel. Because, you know, we got a real connection to the material more than you might believe. Yeah. <laughs> You know, seeing as how we own. The, the crazy thing about this is sometimes we feel like because the pictures were in black and white, slavery and the results of slavery are far removed. Mm-hmm. Then things like this happen. And you know, then people had kids and had kids mm-hmm. and had kids. And this is what we be talking about when we talk about head starts, mm-hmm. even outside of being an actor. Mm-hmm. Your family got the equivalent of three point six million dollars after. Excuse me. Slavery was abolished. But after being able to own the slaves. Yeah. So you get all the benefits mm-hmm. to, you know, 250 slaves is a lot, even for slavery times. Most people who own slaves, it was between five and 15. Yeah, 250 no, they, is a huge nigga, that plantation. That is a Walmart. They owned a fully employed Walmart, the greeter. And got the a buyout. Pers- yeah, like. They had a corporation. Two hundred. Could you imagine? I was just thinking. Imagine if I had two hundred and fifty employees, just in this industry. That I, if I That's had what eight, I and you know they had a couple slaves that was their favorite. If I had Angel, didn't pay her, didn't pay Josh, and then two hundred and forty-eight more people. And then when I finally had to stop doing that after how many years, the government was like, "Our bad." Here's three and a half million dollars like, for your troubles. You'd be like, okay. When you already own the, listen, you own the land already. Yep. Right. And this is what we talking about, right? So me and Melissa just got our whole trust thing situated, mm-hmm. right? And it just became really clear to me what a trust fund baby is. Mm-hmm. Because let me tell you what, you want to hide some money and move it around. You want to avoid taxes and stuff. Get yourself a trust. Mm-hmm. That will, it's going gonna, it's gonna to prevent you from going to probate. But you still got tax. We'll take yeah. care of you, mm-hmm. bruh. But that trust, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? So even in the, the, our uh, uh, trust attorney was talking about, she was like, you know how people with no money start off the first money? Just life insurance. Yeah. You die. They give you three, four hundred thousand dollars. Now y'all got a little bread. People who own slaves, they already own the land. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a little bit of land that a townhome was. I'm talking about. Acres, acres upon acres upon of acres. land. Yeah. When they died, you if you just if nothing else in your life mm. happened, but somebody gave you a house that was paid off, you already got a head start. Yeah. If nothing else but just hey, you ain't got, like one of the first things I did. Make sure if I died now before this, but I, my boys could have a house to sell or live in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And th- them is baby houses. Mm. These slave, these slave plantations, Huge. 
massive houses. That's right? so sweet that you're allowing them to sell. We we made sure they can't in ours. Yeah, well, now this is what this is before <laughs> I did the trust. Okay. And then I get into the trust and I said, hold up, you could do it where they can take some money out their equity. There you go. But that house got to stay in. Come on. Well, and now I finally understood <clears throat> what trust fund baby meant. Because mm-hmm. that trust can doggone pay you indefinitely. Yeah. I mean, them babies, they can do drugs. Yeah. On our dime. Mm-hmm. Right? But that's what infuriates me when people are like, well, black people just need to work. Well, yeah, now you want to make it seem like it's even. <laughs> and you had all these years of right. mutt labor and you built the whole business for years. For years. And then you got compensated mm-hmm. on top of having free labor. And this then- is how, this is how, I'm sorry to cut you off, but it mm-hmm. makes me think of this. This is how. Cut me off. In like the Hidden Hills out here in California where the houses are gigantic. People are living there and they're like principals. Where yeah. we are like, I have to be number one on the call sheet in a blockbuster movie to own a house yes. in these exclusive neighborhoods. Because I'm like, are all these people like movie producers? No. No. It's because <laughs> you talk principal, not, no, not no. actors, principals of schools. Of regular public schools. <laughs> living in There's these There's a gorgeous reason homes. why Kim Kardashian and her family move over there for $40 million homes. There's no, there's no, oh, I think, let me go look at, at the houses in there. There's none of that. These no. Are, that's why no. people are like, I live in Calabasas. When I lived in Calabasas, they're like, you live in a Kardashian. No, no, that's a different Calabasas. That's it's a different Calabasas. A gated community within a gated community. <laughs> I remember when we lived in Van Nuys, right? Now, mind you, these people were not white. They are uh, <clears throat> Salvadorian, I think. Mm-hmm. But I remember us buying our first house and me being like, I got to have every job possible to make sure I can, uh, can put on this mortgage and our next door neighbors were two teachers and i was like how in the hell are you all <laughs> on LA LAUSD USD salary right. owning a god dang home we bought a foreclosure so i know we got this house for less than what you did how is this possible that this is happening and it's all mm-hmm. about what you were set up with when you start yes. can make it so much easier for how you maintain life from then on yes now listen I'm going to tell you this because Angel just brought it up to me. Um, Chris Rock has a great joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> about yeah, his yeah, neighborhood in New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. He said, I am one at the time, one of the best and the highest paid comedians in my neighborhood. You know who also lives in my neighborhood? Mary J. Blige, one of the best R&B singers of our generation. He said, you know what the white people are? A dentist. <laughs> not the world's best dentist. Not the person who invented Invisalign. Not the person who invented... Just the dentist. Just the lawyer. Just the plumber. Yes. I got to be the best of my... I mean, like him or not, Chris Rock is easily top 10 black comedians of yes. all time. Right? Mary J. Blige, like her or not, she did Crispy Chicken. Yes. Fresh Lettuce. Right. Yes. One of the best yes. vocalists yes. of our generation. All wrapped in there. She... Siri, you know I'm never Chase talking to G. you. Nobody else did crispy chicken. One of the best R&B singers Both of our vocals. generation. Yeah, and then just a dentist. He said that's what they're gonna say about my babies. He said if I were, and he said if in order to be black in my neighborhood and be a dentist, I would have had to invent teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is. There you go. That's exactly what that's has to be. That's the point we're trying to make, man. In my neighborhood now. I'd be like, how y'all got in here? Because it took me years of yeah. a lot of yes. of touring. Some people would just be like, oh, my mom and put down on this. I mean, there's some doggone kids. I'm talking about 20-year-olds. Across the street. Uh, these niggas have a basketball court with Kobe. I'm talking about a, a legit half court. Yeah. I ain't seen an adult down there ever. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about... They look like a freshman and sophomore in college. They probably are. The other black people that live in our cul-de-sac <laughs> are Chris Paul's in-laws. That's that's how you be black. No, there is another black one. Her husband's white. I said, that's there you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> now I feel safe. Yeah, I was like, that's how you do it. Everybody else? Oh, man. Justin Wright just reminded me of this. Uh, them home buying shows, he said, I collect cans. My wife sells blanket. Budget $2.5 million. <laughs> Yes! That's how it be. What what is that show that um House uh, Hunters? Yes, it's House Hunters. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'd yeah. be like, how do y'all have this? I'd be like, what? And y'all got a down payment? Right. Listen. No, some of them just buy it. 
Listen, the cash. and like outside the flippers, of that, yeah. that concept is just like, where does the initial seven hundred fifty thousand dollars come from? One thousand percent. Million dollar home? And let's not talk about foreign money because apparently oh. we know how to do debt here. In foreign country, they're like, no, we'll come here with cash to buy the house. That's and, who they're buying and all the houses out, in my neighborhood. They're buying all the houses everybody everywhere Straight in California. Cash, homie, like Randy Moss. How you paying that fine? Straight cash, homie. Apparently, and this is not a, this is the truth. We're talking to a real estate agent. He was like, listen. These houses, your people from China are buying these houses in cash and not even coming and moving yeah. in them. No, they just want to, they're going to own the U.S. They're that just is, holding them, yes. not even renting them out sometime. There's a house in my to. neighborhood that just, they're like, oh, we got, just hold that for us. Mm -hmm. And these are largely expensive homes. Yes. Just hold us. Now, listen, one thing that I noticed, uh, and this outside of slavery, this is just black struggle versus non-black struggle. Black people usually, when their mom and dad dies, we incur their debt, debt. and it is a debt to pay for them to be buried. Yes. A lot of white family, a lot of white friends of mine, they be sad when their mom and dad dies, but their mom and dad done left them some life-changing money. I'm talking yeah. about close friends of mine who's like, man, my mom died. That was a $100 bill I wiped my eyes with. Right. Went and bought a new house. Yeah. New condo, yeah. mood. And I'm talking about the funeral paid for paid off their house, you can then sell their house, yeah. then left them cash money. Most of my friends, mom, when they die, go fund me. We didn't know. Yes, we didn't have no way to pay for it. We, we didn't, we didn't selling know. fish plates. Let me and I'm not even like, black people do better. Like, it's hard to do better when the world did you wrong for so long. It's hard to recover yeah. from, the, from a world that was designed to make it hard for mm -hmm. you. So I'm not even blaming us. This just be our our plight in life. Come on. It'd be, especially if you die early or young or unexpected. Listen, listen. Get you that really, life insurance. Uh, my kids are going to listen. do, if I, if something happens to me. I, my, my life insurance is so good. I don't want to tell my kids because they might kill me. <laughs> Them boys oh, might, they might off. They like, you didn't know what? Absolutely. The only reason I'm telling y'all guys don't do it because I can do so much more alive. <laughs> Your inheritance could grow. This is only where I'm at right now. Imagine where we could go. Don't kill me now. Because when I signed that paperwork, I said, <laughs> Jesus. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you, I was just like, oh, because I used to be one of those. Listen, if I die, y'all got to figure things out. If, <laughs> yeah, it ain't my problem no ain't more. my problem, especially when we were living regular. I was like, it's going to be easy for you to get to regular. Then when we started living a little bit better, I was like, now, y'all can't maintain this <laughs> without me, without me doing something for you. But let me tell you what, if you ain't got the money to, uh, or rich uh, white grandmother to leave you money, there's a way that you can get a little extra cash right now. Uh, the NFL playoff picture is locked in, and my go-to place for wild card round action is DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. To kick off the road to Super Bowl 57, new customers can bet just $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. Plus, all new and existing customers can get a no-sweat bet each day of the wild card round this weekend. Just place any NFL bet of your choice, and if it loses, you'll get a free bet back up to ten dollars. Action is uh, the action so good. Why bet NFL playoffs anywhere else? Listen, guys, it, this is the time. If you are one of those people, my uh, my uh, mothers, they they love a good challenge. They love a good bet. They yeah. love being able to be in on the action. So if you're somebody that loves being in on the action, NFL uh, draft that DraftKings is where you want to do your NFL playoff bets. The app is super easy to use, and like you said, to be able to be able to be able to lose and then get a free bet, you ain't gonna get that in no casino. They're gonna tell you to leave, go on, go on leave, and we're gonna keep your money. But DraftKings is like, come on now. And um, is there any teams that you are excited to see play in the NFL coming up? Uh, my Seattle Seahawks, by the grace of God and the Detroit Lions, have made the playoffs. Oh. And I'm betting big on them. You bet big? To lose. <laughs> They weren't even supposed to be here. They lost the 49ers twice. I'm taking a good bet. I love the team. I'm, I'm betting. I'm betting on the lock. I'm taking the under. Lose. Okay, so this is what we want you to do. Download the DraftKings Sports Book app and use code SKPOD. SKPOD. SK -Pod. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL and get 200 
uh, in free bets instantly. Really? Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code SKPOD. SKPOD. Minimum age and eligibility. Minimal minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Yeah, see all yeah. the notes in the description. It's going to be a lot of them. that are listed. That's a good sponsor. Mm, I hope. That's a good, so. <laughs> that good, good clean. Uh, okay. 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 So. okay. 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 Now, uh, I'm going to play this video. Life Jennings, this is art. You know what I'm saying? You can make your art however you see fit. He has an interesting video. You can look it up if you would like. Uh, but the thing that draw drawn my eye is, well, I'll just play it for you. Play a little bit of it. What's your name, boy? It's Kanye West as a slave. Welcome to school. This is a woman with a terrible BBL. I mean, like maybe the worst BBL ever. Like Jennings. Hold on, let me just, this is what I want to show you. Kyrie Irving hooping, and he's gonna get his shot blocked by a clan. Wow. Kyrie Irving, the fake Kyrie Irving. Yes. That wasn't really, he didn't get cast. I don't think he got, I think Kyrie was at work. <laughs> I, think he cast. I thought they had his talent fee. <laughs> you so stupid. What do you mean? <laughs> well, they didn't cast him. I thought he'd, he'd like jump at that. Yeah. <laughs> he had a clansman block his dunk. People just. What did the whole tap say to that? Oh no, man! Some, as you remind me of that, somebody tweeted something that was so funny. He said, "Do you remember in high school we had kids that was in like remedial classes? <laughs> yeah. There was in regular classes, and some kids was in honor classes and AP classes. The problem with the internet is we all in here together, yeah, yeah, and we're no, not no. supposed to. We're not be. supposed to be. And I think that's sometimes when I see tweets, that's what I'd be like. What people believe? Yeah." What people tweet, because there be times in the barbershop, and this is one thing. I, when I be in the barbershop and I hear people talking, I'd be like, oh, y'all is stupid. Yeah. Y'all yeah. is. I mean, we would be arguing, and you know you arguing with an idiot. Right. But the internet is so full. Like, you really be arguing with people who believe stuff that you be like, this, why Ain't you, no way. how, how? Yeah, it's not, not only uh, is there ignorance that we are, like, that is clear, then you also be like, how old is you? How, how, old? you a baby. Now, why am I arguing with you? Obviously, you got to be a baby. Ain't no you way have, you my same my big age. My question was always like, what were your parents like? <laughs> and what was the relationship you had with them? Oh, well, probably a terrible. You know, there's a lot of hurt people out here, and I try to make sure I remind myself of that anytime I come across a, a comment that, like, kind of gets me, like, a little bit of reaction. Yeah. I go, one, I don't know this person, and there, and if I knew them, I probably would not waste my breath. You, that, that's the thing about the internet. Sometimes I agree with you 100%, Angel. Because people re re reply to you or reply to your post, it makes you feel like you owe them a response. Mm -hmm. And if you were in their face, you'd be like, I'm not talking to you. I'm not, I don't even see you. I remember when I went to college, and this isn't even like dissing people who didn't go to college. Wow, I just said dissing. Wow. You did. Dissing? You did. Let me tell you what makes me feel That's old. That's whack, man. <laughs> me and Melissa, we still say tape. You know, Melissa, take pictures. I said, I, hey, tape some of Zay Zay's game. No, oh, don't. no, you no, don't. No, you don't, Kevin. Yes. And I mean record it with your phone, but I say video it or tape it. I'm sorry. Some of the old blackness is stuck in me. It is. Wow. But, uh, damn, you remind me. I forgot what I want to say because you said that. Um, what was we talking about? You were talking about, we were talking about, like, people that we went to college. Go to college. Went to college. When I learned about black history and slavery in college, and I was, like, reading first account books about slavery from former slaves or enslaved people, 
Mm-hmm. I realized what I thought I knew from high school was not even the tip of the iceberg. That was a knowledge presented to me with a totally different bias. Mm-hmm. Remember reading that about Nat Turner and it was somebody else had written a book about Nat Turner and he was like, so I'm like, oh man, this is crazy. They had described Nat Turner as this monster and all this stuff. So I'm like, dang, this is wild. And then when we finished the book, they were like, look up the author. And it was like a white dude. And he was like, why would you think he would read, write that book like that? Right. And I was like, oh my God. So he's talking about bias and stuff like that. And he was like, history would be different if the lion wrote the story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So once I spent four years in college studying about slavery and history and all that stuff, and then when you go back and argue with people who didn't have, who right. don't have the same knowledge as you, or argue people that say it was a choice, or who say it was a choice, or who say well black people will sell, you be like, I, I, I am the fool for arguing mm-hmm. with someone who doesn't have the same knowledge as me. Yeah, but on the internet, people position themselves as on. I mean, I've seen people as argue experts, yeah. as experts on everything. I've seen people argue with pro athletes about pro sports, mm-hmm. about NFL players, about this. They'll argue real doctors. When the vaccine whole thing came out, regular smegler people was arguing with people who created the vaccine mm-hmm. or talking about vaccine mm-hmm. or heart, whatever it is, the internet boldness will make people feel, nah, I'm going to tell you what it is right. because I graduated in 12th mm-hmm. grade. Did I go to medical school? No, but let no. me tell you about cardiology. Let me tell you what I do understand is what I think I know. <laughs> That's what I understand. I'm an expert on what I think I know. <laughs> you can't tell me. You can't argue me down on what oh I think I know. Oh, my God. And that's what it's a lot of. It's a lot of arguing down and a lot of, a lot of people who, because, at the end of the day, all of our voices matter within our own life. But then people somehow construe that to think their voices matter on everyone else's. Yes. I boy, Say it again one more time, Andrew, because <laughs> I need people to hear it good. All of our voices. I don't want anyone to feel insignificant. All of our voices matter when it concerns our own life. Your voice matters. However, comma, it does not matter on other people's lives and people misconstrue that all the time online. Man, I think about that often. <laughs> often. Yeah. People just be, you know, we used to say this in the church, Holy Ghost boldness. But people just be boldly jumping out on stuff. I mean, literally on Twitter, you'll see somebody arguing with the like person who wrote a book on neurophysics. Yeah. Like, and who are you? And the person literally be like, I have the person who invented this <laughs> or wrote the book on this, or I'm the writer of this movie. You know, like they try to tell Jordan Poole, I mean, Jordan uh, Peele. Peele. That's who that boy didn't apologize to. I know. I was Jordan somebody Poole put it or Jordan Peele. Uh-huh. You need to get out because nope, you was wrong. Hey, come on uh, with your jean jacket on. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I love it. So, um, they told Jordan Peele, you know, in, in the in Get Out when the girl was eating the cereal all weird. Mm-hmm. They was like, oh, so what he was doing was he was saying like she was so into color that she was moving the cereal because she didn't want to be exposed. And, and, and the drinking the milk was ingesting the whiteness. And he was like, no, nah, I just thought it would be weird if she ate cereal like that. And they were like, what? No, no, no. This is what you meant. He was like, no, I'm telling you, you <laughs> I am the person who wrote the movie They're in like, my no. mind. Mm-mm. I said, what's a weird way to eat cereal? Your mind in there wrong. <laughs> Let me put the right but information. You just reminded me, to my discredit, black folks will tell Uno, the people who made Uno, they don't know how to play that game. Uno be like, you can't stack cards. Black people be like, you shut up and you make the cards and you print them. We'll be the ones who make yeah, the rules. Hush your mouth. You can stack, you can double. A draw two go on a draw two, mm-hmm. a draw four go on two draw twos, and Uno be like, that's not in the rules. Black people was like, we did not read those. Yeah, who? Why'd you even write them? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do it. You're doing too much. <laughs> Let me tell you, I know we always say, in 2023, I'm going to drink my water and mind my business. We as black people have a hard time Doing either. Especially if a big kid is in a stroller. <laughs> Come on. We or a baby or, outside of a jacket with, with no, no hat, shoes on. No no shoe. Or t- we think that baby's too big to have that pacifier. We not minding our business. Not when it comes to children's warmth. First of all, <laughs> half of the videos ever recorded about somebody's mess 
is a black person who said, my business is now your business. Let me record. That is something I don't know if it's in our DNA. I don't know if it's how, how I, I have no idea, but we don't do a good job of just being like that business is not mine. We'd be like for the business. <laughs> right. It's not yours. It's, it's mine. Ours. Yes. <laughs> there ain't we have a hard time. A hard time. World star hip hop made oh, a killing off of God. us being like, I'm recording this. I got to L- see listen, it. we we complain about the world star hip hops and the shade, shade rooms, rooms and the baller and what they do to the community. And the bottom line is they would not exist if we didn't engage with the content. Listen. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Somebody's over there clicking. I hate to say it, I don't follow, but sometimes I got to go over there you to get over, to it. Listen, you not following it is for show. You over there. I be over there. <laughs> sometimes I, the new, whether I like it or not, I be nosy. Yes. We all say, why are we in traffic? And then when we pull up to the accident, we'd be like, who, who that was that? It? Somebody got on fire. What is that? Going on? Car, my car be almost stopped. Damn. Woo. Woo-hoo. I hope they're okay. Yeah. And then somebody behind me is like, why is they stopping? And when it's your turn? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That, that was on fire. Woo. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is something that is in us that we just like, I got to, I got to be in this business. I got to be over there. I got to be in the business so I can talk about the business with my friends. Listen, let me tell you, on Twitter, there's this running joke that said, who's the messiest bee you know? It's a man, ain't it? And let me tell you what, there's nothing better than me be like, ooh, list. Do you know, I got some of the best tea yesterday from one of my uh, good friends is a guy. I'm Ooh. talking about that tea was so piping, <laughs> got that going hot, burnt my lips, my tongue. I was like, and what? <laughs> and there's a scene, what? Taste buds on fire. Oh, it was so, I mean, oh, it felt so good. And I was like. <laughs> That's how Thank I felt you. watching Dance Moms for the first time last week, Josh, man. you are all in oh, on this reality. What happened side to side you? Side. Listen. You he, are all in. He Josh got with watching. a black woman. That's, got, a, that's exactly Josh, what happened. I remember Josh was like, man, you be watching Real Housewives of Potomac? I said, Josh, what? What do that's, you even know about That's the show it? right now, though. I'm listen, waiting on that reunion. Wait till I, that I reunion listen, episode comes. I know it's going to be good. Ooh, I'm about to review the show. I can't wait. Ooh, that's a good one. They had Nikki host it once. Who's Nikki? Minaj, on, did she host it? Yeah, like the Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj hosted a reunion, a real home? Yes. Housewives of the Potomac. Potomac. Really? Yes. yes. And, you know, I wonder why they did that. Because they always have Andy. I don't know why they did that to these black women. But I'm sure with uh, uh, Nicki was a good host. But, yes, honey, we, as a black people, <laughs> we be in people's business. And black men especially spilleth the tea. We do. Messy, messy be, boots. Ooh, girl, let me tell you, child. <laughs> let, let me tell you what I heard. Now, you can't tell nobody because I got told not to tell nobody. But you know I got to tell you. You got to tell you. But you can't because if they, if you tell people, they go, going to know it come from me. Listen, you and Liz are tag teaming T. Oh, boy, we best. got it. We got Arnold Palmer. <laughs> All right, we love y'all. We will see y'all. Uh, Patreon, we'll see you this weekend, and we'll figure out the day. Yep. Uh, Patreon, we'll also see you in a little bit to do the ball and the beautiful. Everybody else, we'll see you next week. Make sure to enjoy yourself. Please. Enjoy, enjoy yourself, yourself and get some calendars. Just start. That's the name mm-hmm. of the Get your calendars. Just start. We love you. We'll see you next time. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Peace. Hey. Goodbye. I love you. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another one. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kevin Stays. And that chick angel.